Okay, we are back on the radio, and we have Dan from Sailing in the Clouds with us. Hey, everybody. And um, we're going to get into an interview right now with him. So, um, Dan, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us, like, what kind of music you play. All right, my name is Dan Sharaba. I'm from Randolph, New Jersey, and my music is, like, a power pop electronica. All right, so... How did you get started singing? Um, well, I started singing when I was in third grade. I, um, my school had a choir, and I always wanted to try being a singer. So I was like, you know what? I want to sing. So I got in choir, and I did that um, until I was about eighth grade, and then I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> All right. So how did you come up with your band name, Sailing in the Clouds? Um, well, basically, Sailing in the Clouds means, you know, that you're – up in the clouds, you know, a lot of times you hear people say, oh, my head's in the clouds, and they're talking about, you know, how life is so great, and you feel like you're living a fairy tale. And basically, if you were sailing in the clouds, it'd be a nice smooth ride, you know, in a nice big boat, or maybe a little small boat, but you're in the clouds, and you're just enjoying life, and enjoying every day to its fullest. All right, so, um, does anybody influence you to sing, like, do what you're doing? Um, well, basically, when I was a little kid, you might you might laugh, but um, I uh, used to love the Backstreet Boys, and I used to love all those boy bands, In uh, Sync, and that's what I kind of grew up on, you know. And uh, and then eventually, as I got a little bit older, I started listening to some rock, and uh, just recently, I really got into a lot of electronica and a lot of cool like sounds, and you know, playing around with different instruments. And uh, I was just like, you know what, I want to try making electronic music with beats and you know, some nice singing. So that's the direction I went. All right. Uh, if you could tour with any band, who would it be? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, if I had to pick, I, I probably have a top two bands that I'd like to tour with. Um, it would either be Owl City, uh, just because our genres are so, uh, so close. And I really you know, look up to his music. I think he's a really great artist. Um, or I would tour with Never Shout Never just because he, uh, he has a very similar personality to me. Uh, you know, he's very peaceful and happy-go-lucky, and I'm kind of like that, and I think I'd have a lot of fun on tour with him. All right, so um, you have a CD that comes out soon? Yes, I do. Actually, my CD comes out November 5th, which is uh, this coming Thursday, um, and it has nine songs on it, and... Uh, it's, it's, I can't believe I got it together so quickly since I just started in April. So. Yeah. All right. So this is like the last question I have. But if anyone outside has any question or if anybody is listening in and wants to call in, 606-6753, uh, call in and we'll answer some questions after the next song that I play. Oh, I have a question. Okay. Okay. What was the first song you ever wrote, and who was it for? All right. Um, the first song that I ever wrote, um, like legit song, finished the whole thing, was a song called Goodbye Sunset. Um, and I wrote it probably uh, four years ago. And when I, when I wrote this song, it was actually, I just come back from uh, camp, and this girl that I met at camp, she, um, she ended up getting cancer. And pretty much she was this blonde girl she's tall she's really pretty and I like kind of fell in love with her at camp and uh and basically goodbye sunset my nickname for her was sunset and you know it was like saying goodbye to the sunset like, saying goodbye to this person that I really really cared about and then when I found out that she had cancer I wrote this song for her and dedicated it to her oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thanks. all right so do you have any advice for people who want to follow their dreams? Um, basically, I believe that that anybody can follow their dreams as long as they put their minds to it. And sometimes, you know, trying to f chase your dreams, you're going to hit a lot of ups and downs. You're going to have a lot of bumps. Um, and sometimes you might, you know, get off track. But basically, just believe in yourself. Don't let anything anybody else tells you, you know, let you down. Don't let them bring you down. You know, be positive and really, you know, try your hardest and push for the top. And you know what? The sky's the limit. They always say you can just keep pushing, keep pushing. And even when you get to your dream, you still can go past it. You want to always push and work your hardest towards your dream. All right. Well, that's it for the interview. 
So when we come back, Dan will be performing a song for us. So, and also, if you have, if anybody has any questions, just call in six zero six six seven five three. Or if anybody outside listening in has a question, come into the studio, and we'll be back. It's like we're standing outside while they're looking out the window, picking up a